Okay, so this is a video on how to install your spacebar onto your key. Uh, you can see that we took out the rubber cup, so we're going to show you how to install that. Um, what we usually do is you get a bit of super glue, you put it onto a smooth surface, close that up. And the rubber cup um, has the wider side on the bottom, so you just kind of dab that um, the bottom side onto where you have the super glue. Then on the keyboard itself, you can see that it has a place marking the position for it. So you just put that right in the center. and uh, allow it to dry of course now um, as far as the hinges uh, you can see that at the very right of the, um, the space bar position there's a metal plate um, it's more like a hole and you have the same plate to the very left those are going to grab on to um, a metal wire that goes on the key itself. So the metal plates that we're going to use right now are uh, these two that look like hooks really. They're not really holes like that one. And then there's this larger hook. So we're going to use this large hook and these two small hooks for now to uh, insert this piece. So let me um, show you the position for this piece. Um, at the top corners it has, this piece has two um, like rectangle holes. Those holes are going to go right into the top hook, the two top hooks. And at the bottom, this large bar here that goes across, that's going to go wrapped around the large hook that's at the bottom here. So make sure not to put this whole piece upside down because from far away it looks the same. Um, you want to determine the position by feeling the corners here where the holes are. If you feel, if you actually feel that um, the wall plastic there, that faces the keyboard and on top it's supposed to be the gap for the next piece to go on top. So insert the um, bottom bar of this piece underneath the large hook first then you push the whole piece up in order for the uh, the top hooks to grab onto the plastic pieces at the rectangle holes now that that piece is in there you uh, get a thin object, I use a blade and um, we're going to determine the position for this piece uh, you can see that at the bottom it has uh, one small bar and at the top corners it has two holes and in the middle it has two pins. Those two pins are going to click into the middle um, of the large piece because it has two holes. One hole here and one hole there. Then make sure not to put the entire piece upside down by feeling underneath the vertical bar. I mean the horizontal bar. If you feel a bump, that bump faces the keyboard and on top it's supposed to be one smooth piece. So put this piece on top of the piece you've installed and um, pick up slightly on the, the plastic piece that's already on the keyboard so that the small piece has enough space to reach the hook. This is a piece that's actually going to stay underneath the large hook. So once you have that down, all you have to do is push down on the um, on the small piece so that the pin can go into the hole of the sm of the larger piece. Once you have one side in, you get your uh, whatever thin object you can find and uh, you separate the large piece from the small piece so that the pin can go 
into the whole that's in the large piece and gonna have to stretch quite a bit but once you have that down you do the same for the next um, the next side so just put the um, the two holes on uh, the rectangle where the two hooks are at the top here get the next key I mean a uh, plastic piece pick up on um, the large piece a tiny bit so that the bottom bar of the small piece can go underneath the large hook push down on one side so that the pin can go into the hole on the large piece then with your um, blade separate both pieces enough for the pin to go into the hole on the other side now you have your key itself this is the right position for it and we're going to turn it this way for now we're going to place this metal wire onto it so it this serves as support so you can count on on the key there's fittings on it uh, we're going to use the third fourth and fifth uh, fitting counting the bottom uh, fittings and um, we're going to face this like that the wire goes the gap on the wire goes up so go ahead and just push that right in between the fittings push down on all three then you lay it flat and uh, you click it on the top fittings as well there should be four fittings on the top and three at the bottom now the the other fittings um, those are going to click onto the plastic pieces we've already clicked um, to the keyboard the last piece you need is this larger uh, wire you can see that at the key in the key there's three fittings uh, one in the middle one on the left corner and one on the right corner uh, same thing you just put the wire right in the middle and push down till you feel and hear the click make sure all three uh, fittings click so now we're going to put the key in the right position don't don't put it upside down like this um, we're going to it, place the the wire right in the uh, in the middle of the the far most fittings then all you have to do is push down evenly on all sides of the key and uh, that's it.